Hi guys, welcome to Lottie's Beauty Seekers. I'm so excited to be filming today. Today's tutorial is actually on how to do contouring of the face. So if you don't know what contouring is, it's like basically you're sculpting and framing your face to be slimmer and just give the illusion that you have these high beautiful cheekbones that a slimmer nose so it's a lot but it's pretty simple I've tried out different techniques but I feel like this one is the one I like the best it works easier for my face because I don't like the cakey full cover full coverage finish so yeah um, <laughs> if you want to learn how I like to contour it's very simple and easy just keep on watching so to start off I've already gone ahead and primed my face with my NARS um, NARS Radiance Enhancer Pro Primer and it's a light optimizing primer. Now I'm actually just going to go ahead and apply my Match Master Foundation from MAC all over my face using my MAC 187 brush and it's just a pretty soft dual fiber brush. And I'm just going to go dipping and just apply that all over. all over the face. You don't really have to worry about going under your eyes and trying to cover because that's actually going to be covered later on. So if it's not covered now, it's not really a big deal. And whatever's access on the brush of, see right now there's not really much, just wanna go down on the neck because sometimes, depending on the season, your foundation may not match um, exactly, so. It just helps blend everything in together. And again, we're just going in round motions. Um, with this fiber brush, I find it's just really lightweight when you apply it. And it gives it almost like an airbrush finish, which is just beautiful and flawless, doesn't leave too many streaks on the face. So after I have applied my foundation all over my face, I like to start off with my highlighting part of the contouring. And I'm going to be using Maybelline Fit Me Mine. And this is their concealer in the color Sand. Oh, I'm still leaning backwards. Sand Stable. So, um, it just looks like this. And I usually don't use a brush. This is actually what, I, what I'm going to be using to apply it. And if I can just grab my mirror. Okay. So I like to start off under the eyes. And this is gonna look funny because we're going we're going to be just drawing lines straight downward and just holding it really light. Almost as if we're painting. Shape like that. Again, on the other side of the face. So we're going to start with the longest part, which is here. And just drawing lines straight down.
towards the outer face, the outer part of our face. And then any part that's actually going away from your face, so like the back of your face, here, down here, that's like towards the back. You want that part to be the darkest, so we're creating a shadow effect. And that's exactly what sculpting is. So when people, I guess, say makeup is like painting, it truly is in, some, in certain ways. So again, just back to blending before I start rambling on again. I wanna be drunk when I wake up on the right side of the wrong bed and never an excuse I made. And I'm just gonna start padding on the end. It never made me stronger at all. I'm padding under our eyes. Using my um middle finger. No one never hold you like So for the contouring part, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm not really going to do too much contouring with this dark, um, again from the Maybelline Fit Me collection. And this one is in Cafe. I'm going to take the brush again, I don't really need another brush, only to blend. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply it on my outer part of the face and mostly on my temples. So, I'm just dabbing that. I know it looks really dark, don't be scared. We're all gonna blend it out. We, I keep saying we. I'm going to blend it out. And if you try this out, you will as well. Ooh. Okay. Again, I know it looks funny, but don't worry. Trust me. And again, back with my favorite brush, the dual fiber. And we're going to blend that all out. And when we're blending, we want to mostly focus where the color is actually applied and then out to the headline. So it all blends in nicely. can change as I began saying. You cut me wide open like landscape. Open bottles of beer, but never champagne. To applaud you with the sound that my hands make. Should I? Should I? So again, we're going in with the round motions and pushing the color out towards the hair. I'll be drunk again. I'll be drunk again to feel a little love. And just blend, blend, blend. The key to makeup is to blend. So maybe a little bit tedious, but <laughs> the better blended out it is. The more natural it looks. Okay. Last but not least, before we finish, actually, it's very important to just set whatever you put on your face, whether it's just foundation or when you're contouring with different creams and foundations, because you don't want that to start like melting off your face or creasing into your lines. For contouring, the most important part for me is um, just giving that image or illusion that I have a slimmer nose because I have no nose and I just take a small this is my little eco tool that I got from Walgreens and now I'll just go in and pick up some of that some of that bronzing tap off the axis so I'm starting from here and just gently We're down to our last and final step, and that's 
We are going to um, contour the cheekbones and again a little bit on the forehead closer to the headline. So we're going to suck in the cheekbones and make that cute bitchy face that we all loved. Uh, maybe not. No one loves that face. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to pick up a little bit, tap off the axis, and start down here. Moving on to the other side of the face, and again, you want to make sure your main focus of the color is from here to there. Again, yeah, then just make sure everything is all even and there are no harsh lines. Just keep blending <clears throat> or applying color as you need. I always like to start off with a little bit of color and then building up on it because if I do the opposite, it's just harder to blend out when you have so much going on. So I went ahead and did the rest of my makeup and it was all inspired by this beautiful lipstick by Revlon, and it just comes in this little packaging, and it's like a duplicate of the color Heroin by MAC, so if you have been looking for a color like that, and you just can't seem to get your hands on it because it's like literally like always sold out online or in stores, I don't even think they make it anymore, I think it was like a limited time thing, but um, anyways, yeah, this color is in very hot. And it's by Revlon, like I said, you can find it at your local Walgreens or any drugstore, basically. And yeah, that inspired basically the whole look. And my nails are in the color Bahama Mama by Essie. So, okay. I'm super excited about this channel. This is a tutorial on how to contour. I really do hope that you've enjoyed it, that you've liked it, or that maybe you have just learned something new and... Just please subscribe to it, like it, comment down below, tell me what you liked about it, what you didn't like, and what you want to see in the future, because this channel is dedicated to you guys. It is called Lottie's Beauty Secrets, and it's just my little tricks and do's and don'ts and just little secrets uh, <laughs> that I'll be sharing with you guys. So, tell a friend, rave about it, um... I'm really excited, like I said, I'm thankful that you've watched it, which I hope a lot of you guys did watch till the end. And yeah, I hope you guys continue to come along on this journey. So I just want to say thank you. I'm really thankful. So bye.